Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Rob Dollar back with another vid. It's Attack of the Flags, man. Attack of the motherfucking flags. You dig what I'm saying? First, I want to start off with the, uh, you know what I'm saying, Rob Dollar Beach channel. This is where I'm going to drop this vid, man. Yo, big, I want to give, first, first and foremost, yo, if you watching this, I want to give a big shout out to PD Reps. My man, we don't chop it up like we used to, but you know what I'm saying, nigga opened my eyes to a lot of shit, you feel me? One big thing that he import, uh, opened my eyes to was public records of the flags that we get, you feel me? Public records, he, he revealed it to the um YouTube public, he been putting it out there, and um you know what I'm saying, big shout out to PD Reps, you feel what I'm saying? So, I guess recently somebody tried to flag my channel. Uh, this ain't, this is a regular person, this is a reviewer that's flagging me, you know what I'm saying, and, and the thing is, I don't know who specifically is flagging me, but I know who specific, I know the, the people that are specifically know how to flag like this, I know them personally, because me, I'm the type that'll talk to you, build rapport with you, feed you some bullshit to get what I can get out of you, I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm, you gotta understand, I move like a street dude, I'm, I'm real cautious of who I try to be cool with, so in order for me to do that, I have to fill you out, so I'll feed you some bullshit, see what kind of, what kind of feedback I can get from you, and then I can, you know what I'm saying, see what type of person you are, you know, I don't, I don't wanna say judge, because I'm not God, and only God could judge, but, uh, recently I got flagged, they didn't take the video down, but somebody tried to attack my channel, trademark complaint, they try to they footwear employee on behalf of Nike.com, which is a lie. We all figured it out. It's all a lie. This person says, repeating multiple violations of community guidelines, promoting and advertising counterfeit footwear as authentic from Pink Jordan 23, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, they want to remove my whole channel, Rob Dollar Beats. So let's take this video and see what video it is. Uh, copy, paste it here. This is my video, YouTube. Go right there. Oh! My Air Jordan 2013-2014 Infrared Infrared 23 collection vid. They try to take that down. That was done on, if you see right here, June 3rd, 2014. The following day, <laughs> this shit is getting stupid, yo. The following day, I get three more flags. I get timestamp flags. So I know, I, so right there, I know the reviewers, this is really boiling down to who could possibly be doing this because first they try to, I didn't know that at first they try to um hit me with a counterfeit claim. I didn't know that. But thanks to Chilling the Facts, thanks to PD Reps revealing this to us that I've, you know, researched PD Reps like, yo, you know, blah, blah, blah. And everything is coming back to me. So at first I didn't know I got a counterfeit claim on the 3rd, June 3rd. So most likely they did both of these claims on the on the same day, but this one came back on the fall. Or they could have seen that the first claim didn't take me down, and then they decided to flag me again on the fall. So the three videos the, the individuals try to take down, they try to take down my son's video with him playing ball, his highlight video, and they try to take down the, the video with Bull when I bring him Bull to his phone posits. Now, they didn't take it down. I took the videos down myself because... The one thing that they don't realize is that it don't affect me in any way. I don't get paid from YouTube to do videos. The only reason why I started doing these type of videos is because I wanted to, I wanted my viewers to know who I was as a person, what I do with my spare time, which is devote my time to my children, try to better their lives. So I started to share that with you guys because I was just tired of doing the same thing, not showing my face, being behind the camera, showing shoes. So I try to sh share a different side with my viewers of who I am as a person. You know what I'm saying? So, I started to do like little vlogs, showing my face, but of course, as you can see, what they can do is basically, the people that are flagging me, they're basically pretending like they're in my videos, or they're pretending to be bull and try to say they, they didn't want to be in the video. You feel what I'm saying? So, they're basically time stamping my videos saying that they're either their voice is in it or their, their kids is in it. So what what I did, you know what I'm saying? I just took the videos down. Like I mean, I don't get paid for it, so you're not hurting me in any way. You feel me? You want to take the channel down? Take the channel down. You I don't get paid for this. I just simply was sharing my life with my viewers because I didn't want people to think that I was some kind of dude that was behind the camera and just did 
you know, shoe reviews and don't show the shoes and I mean, don't show my face. And so I just shared a different side with my, my, you know, my, with my viewers. But uh, I pretty much narrowed it down to who it could possibly be. But due to the fact that it's a handful of people that it could still possibly be, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna go too into it and try to figure it out. Cause I, frankly, I don't care. You feel me? I really don't care about who's flagging me, who not flagging, and I don't care. But I can tell you one thing: it ain't a Chinese person that been trying to flag me. It's a regular nigga that y'all see on a daily basis. It could be a friend. It could be an enemy. You dig what I'm saying? But to me, like I said, YouTube don't pay me. So if you want the channel, keep flagging and take it down. I don't give a fuck. I just did this to share a different part of my life with my viewers. You feel me? If I, the only thing I can say is I apologize to my viewers that watch my video because this will probably be something I won't be able to share with you guys no more. Like vlogs and stuff because in my vlogs I have my kids. These people are pretending to be my kids, or I could be bringing something to bull. I, they pretending to be bull, so this probably will be something I won't be able to share with you guys no more. Cause what they're gonna do is just keep flagging it and time stamping it, like, oh, this is me in this part, this is me in this part, this is me in this part. You know what I'm saying? That's why everything I did, everything I do is always premeditated. That's why with the uh, the whole situation with Ratchet, I don't really got no beef with Ratchet. I did it to see. What type of what type of heat it'll bring to my channel, and the next day my channel was gone. You feel me? I ain't got no beef with Ratchet. That's my boy. We chop it up. We was trying to start a buzz and get his channel popping. Cause I always say it ain't right that he lost the channel. Cause he's a people person. A lot of people like him. For him to lose his channel was fucked up. And I always tell Ratchet that even when we argue, I'm like, you know, one thing I can respect you about is you grind. You feel me? And that's you know what I'm saying. So I just try to generate. I, I even say, yo. If you want sub here, I'm gonna give you sub. Me and Ratchet ain't got no beef, like none of that. But um, the people, the outsiders was looking at it like we did. Cause soon as I did the video, me and him was laughing about this shit. Say so you keep repeating yourself, you know what I'm saying? But this is this is what it's come down to. You feel me? Like niggas flagging me. Trademark complaint from Footwear on behalf of blah blah blah. This shit didn't work. They try to st time stamp my shit. You know what I'm saying? And like I said. Through talking to people, I know who has the ability to do this. You feel me? But I'm not gonna say nothing because I don't I can't pinpoint the person myself. I don't worry about shit like that. But I just wanted you guys to know that my mom the biggest thing about this uh video is just to let you guys know that it's I'm sorry, but I may not be able to do vlogs because they're trying to attack my channel, they're trying to send flags, and I may do the wrong vlog to where they, they got me. You know what I'm saying? They could timestamp it and then boom, the whole channel gone. I can't share nothing with you guys, you feel me? But uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Let me know how you feel about this. And uh, this is what this is what it's come down to, man. YouTube is, I don't know, man. I'm seriously thinking about just falling back for a while. Maybe for a while. Maybe not quitting, just, just falling back. Because I had so much shit that I was cooking up on this channel that uh, I may not be able to cook up. You dig what I'm saying? Or maybe if, when I get to monetize this channel and get paid, then I'll probably just, like, say fuck it. But, uh, yeah, I don't get paid for this, man. So it's basically like... You know, I'm wasting my time. You dig what I'm saying? I love my viewers to death, but it's like wait, a waste of time because why put in work editing and doing all of that when it can easily get taken away? That's why I don't go buy a five, six thousand dollar camera. For what reason? You dig what I'm saying? I'ma just lose everything. So what the fuck? You dig what I'm saying? But uh, this is Rob Dollar, man. I'm getting out of here, y'all. Y'all be safe. Peace.